I uh, 2020 is gonna be weird I don't feel super confident about it right now and I have plans it's just like it just seems like too much stuff to do in a day and that's where I have an issue is I just continually plan too much in one day and then I need time to veg out and I need to find a balance uh, between work and life so I can actually do all the things that I want to do in both categories. It's hard uh, and I don't like it. I feel like within the past few years with moving everywhere, I've been continuously stuck in a place where I'm not necessarily happy and I need to get to a point at some point soon where I can feel permanently comfortable somewhere. Um, I'm not at that place yet. I'm not gonna be at that place within a year, but I was given the opportunity this year to save a lot more money than I'm used to. So I'm going to take advantage of that. My main goal this year is to save as much money as possible. And it's gonna take like a lot of discipline on my end, I feel like, but I know that I can do that. That's something that I'm perfectly capable of doing is saving a huge chunk of money and I just need to do it because that's the only way that I'm going to feel like happy sustainably for a long period of time. I just feel stuck and I don't like that feeling and I just need to learn how to balance everything and also just like save for long term so I can get to that point. I'm saying all this right now because I know that it's got to be relatable to somebody. I feel like a lot of people in their mid-20s are just like consistently moving. I hate it. I hate it so much. I feel like there's no point in putting my stuff anywhere or like making myself feel at home anywhere. So that's me. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I don't feel happy or motivated going into 2020, but I'm trying to force myself into being motivated because I know that's the only way that I can like work on being happy. I used a planner consistently for work all of last year and it worked out really well for me so I bought a new planner this year so I can work on that whole like work-life balance and working on consistency in both categories. Sorry my lighting just went wacky so now I am down to natural lighting. I'm going to try for one video a week. It can't be hard. Like, I'm literally just talking to a camera. Editing does not take me that long. I don't make huge productions. This is something that I feel like I can commit to that will help me in the long run, and I would like to make videos for you guys in the long run, and I feel like it'll just help me be more consistent in life and work in general because I can talk about things and like how they're going and what I can do to make them better and vlog about my day because then I'm more productive. That's the plan, hopefully it works. As far as my work goals, they're kind of difficult to pin down. Most of my planner, like my monthly side, is completely taken over by work because there's different things that I have to do every day. There's different appointments or meetings or conference calls uh, that all take place on different days. So that's mainly what my planner is. Even daily, most of the things on there are work related. The only work goals that I have are staying more organized and more consistent and like if I'm planning something, I want to plan it thoroughly and make sure that it's a success because I feel like I plan too many things at once and then it's just the things that I end up making in the long run aren't complete or as beautiful as I want them to be because I didn't take the time to make them that way you know so i feel like just having this planner in general will really help me out because maybe i'll take the time to plan things out more long term but i don't have any specific goals i feel like at this point projects are just sort of coming my way and i'm completing them as i complete them i don't want to do anything specific at this moment for work i just kind of want to go to work um and do everything successfully and just make sure that I'm really, really good at my job. I don't have like an ex title that I would like to be or anything like that. I feel like I worked really hard to get to where I've gotten to right now and I just wanna continue on that path. My main goal right now is being in like a more permanent living situation and I feel like I don't want to go anywhere else work-wise right now because that's my main goal. Like I don't have specific work goals at the moment and I think that's okay. And that's it. So then moving on to monthly. Like I said before, most of it is completely taken over with work month-wise. Like if you're looking day to day, I have my work schedule for this current week in green. Um, and then I have different conference calls, launches, I have an appointment. I have different things that I need to complete within my binder. 
I have meetings. That's essentially it right now. Um, just like different appointments and then the check marks are the days that I'm on vacation. I do have things within my notes that are personal life things and this is where it gets difficult is like eventually I want to get to the point where I'm putting those personal life things onto the actual blocks along with the work things but I don't know the specific days that I'm going to get them done until that week because my work schedule is very inconsistent. So I feel like I'm prioritizing things around work which is you know probably going to happen always because that's what makes the money. But I'm want to take time to do the things that I want to do for myself so maybe in the beginning of the week for right now at least in the beginning of the week I'm just like planning out when I'm going to do the different things within my notes and planning that around work but eventually I want to get to the point where I am planning out my entire month and putting all the work things on there along with the days that I'm going to do my life things because I do have my work schedule three weeks out in advance and I make it so I should be able to find a more consistent work schedule where I can also do life things so again for the notes right now I want to do gym three times a week this month I want to read four books I want to keep up with my fitness pal and track my water intake as well uh, I have not been eating the healthiest especially like during the whole move and everything I was eating out like three times a day so I just really want to get back to like eating plainly knowing what ingredients are in my food and learning how to like drink water on a regular basis would be fantastic. I want to crochet one scarf. I always get compliments on the one scarf that I made like years ago and just to get back into crocheting I would like to crochet a scarf but then maybe next month or the month after I can create something that's not a scarf because that's all I've ever made. So learning how to do something new with that would be really cool. I want to create for YouTube videos, this is one of them. Um, and then I also want to try and have a month where I don't watch any reruns, which is such a pain because I was rewatching Gilmore Girls before I decided this, and I was on like season seven, or I was about to go on to season season seven. But I watch a lot of reruns. Uh, Friends is off of Netflix now. I can watch new content. There's a lot of new content that I'd like to watch, and I want to force myself to do that. So this month I'd like to try watching no reruns, and if it goes well. Maybe we'll slide in into next month as well. Okay, and then going into day by day, right now I have like very minimal things on there, if nothing at all. Uh, the only things that I have for today is Jim cleaning out my car and making this YouTube video. Hey, look at that. And of course there are other things that I want to do as well. Like right now I can add in that I need to go to Target. I have a list of things that I need which is on my phone in the Evernote app. And then I also have to go to the storage unit because there are different things within my car as well as in this apartment. I need to go in there so I can make space. But then even though things are looking minimal on here, if you turn to the next page, I have a much longer list for tomorrow. So that's where I'm saying that like I have veg out days and then I also have days that are like so many things. Um, and these are all pretty much work related things. Yep. They are all work related. So I need to figure out how to balance work and life within the same day. Um, and then I really like how the next page is laid out where it has the weekend days and it also has take time out for fun things to do and what I need to do next week and a weekly gratitude. I really like this planner. I got it at Target, but if I can find a link for it, I will post it down below because it's real nice. If any of you have any suggestions about how I can plan within this planner better, um, how I can organize my life between work and life, uh, let me know. I know that there's a lot of people that are really, really into planners and I've been doing this for a while. I find that it is the best way for me to get everything done because I need to write everything down in order to remember everything, but I'm new. I just need to get the things done. Tell me what your goals are. I am very curious. Are you focused on like mainly one thing? Are you focused on all the things? I'm curious. Tell me what you're doing in 2020 hoping it's gonna be a good productive one. I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week and I will see you soon, hopefully next week. Goodbye.